if not, then I propose us so that we stay in, you know, uh, as close to timing as possible to continue with the next author. So Megna Masur, if you are here, and the paper is entitled From Oppression to Recuperation, Portrayal of Dalit Women in Bama's Sangati, which obviously, uh, again, reaffirms um, a similar kind of topic. And she represents Sharda University. We can see your screen, but uh, I think you have to click on the PowerPoint. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry for the interruption. I would like to make an announcement. Mm -hmm. uh, ma'am, I request all the participants to kindly adhere to the time limit. 10 minutes, 8 minutes for discussion, sorry, 8 minutes for presentation and 2 minutes for discussion. Thank you. A very good, a very good afternoon, one and all present here. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes, we can hear. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm Meghna Mathur, a research scholar from Sharda University. Uh, the title of my research paper is From Oppression to Recuperation, Portrayal of Dalit Women in Bama Sangeeti. Sangeeti is a novel uh, penned by Bama in 1994, which was later translated by Lakshmi Holmstrom in 2005. Uh, so Bama has portrayed Dalit women in uh, Dalit women in her novel that how the Dalit women is oppressed, she is suppressed, she is subjugated, but now she is resisting and recuperating. So the research paper is all about uh, the Dalit women portrayal of from oppression to recuperation. Dalit women's status in Dalit literature, I quote, humanity is male and man defines women not in herself but as native to him. She is not regarded as an autonomous being. Man is a subject. He is the absolute. She is the other. He sets himself up as essential as opposed to the other. The inessential, the object. Simone de Beauvoir. In late 1960s and 1970s, the literature emerged, narrating the story of oppress. So in 1960s, the Dalit literature started emerging, wherein uh, the Dalit people or the non-Dalit people started writing about the uh, the lit, the, how they are oppressed and subjugated. The lit is the name, I quote, the lit is the name politically conscious, ex untouchable, now used in preference to untouchable, Harijan, a caste name, or the governmental term scheduled caste, since it is more inclusive and implies no fault, no untouchability on the part of the Dalit. Then the Dalit literature uh, slowly and gradually developed, and in June 1970, the Dalit Panthers movement emerged, which was inspired by U.S. Panthers movement. The Dalit literature and Dalit movement flourished in full flesh manner, wherein the male, uh, the male Dalit writers became prominent, and some of the male writers were Daya Pawar, P.I. Sonkambe, Arun Kambe, Shanta Bai Kambe, Raja Dhali, Charan Kumar Limle, Banan Nibalkar, and many others. But the women's voices and their experiences, their issues remained unheard. They were subjugated. Nobody wanted to listen to the women's issues and their experiences. The male writers expressed women from androcentric lens, and the women were presented only as an extended self of male community. Dalit Panthers movement, the trade union movement, Dalit literature also avoided the Dalit women's rights to property, education, longevity, and the Dalit women were marginalized and sidelined in the realm of Dalit literature and movement. Despite the tremendous advancement of technology, social reformation, constitutional laws, technological development, women's education, financial status, and employment, and the of subaltern women remain behind. The chief of women's subjugation is caste as gender dynamic, patriarchal society, stereotypes, and discrimination prevailed in the society. The women, the Dalit women, were humiliated and subjugated and now found no place in literature too. As Urmila Pawal states, I quote, women's issues did not have any place on the agenda of the Dalit movement, 
and the women's movement was indifferent to the issues in the Dalit movement. I unquote. The male writers could not write about the plight of Dalit women, so it is crucial and the Dalit patriarchy, the male Dalit writers and as well as the mainstream Dalit feminism also avoided the, the, uh, the issues and experiences of the Dalit women. So it is crucial to have general representation of Dalit women. Operation of Dalit women. In the continuation of operation of Dalit women, this, uh, there are some uh, Dalit Excuse women me, who started writing. Uh, Excuse yes, me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, ma'am, your PPT is not visible to the audience. I think you haven't opened it. Yes, I have opened it. It is not visible. No, no it's ma just a list of files we see. <clears throat> so okay, it's perhaps really... you should double click on it. I think it would help. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I thought you uh, changed your mind initially when I saw it. Oh, uh, no. It's it. Uh, okay, so please op op open it now and we will continue. Mm -hmm. yes. Ma'am, actually, I'm unable to share. It. There is an option mm -hmm. of share. Ah, Karchar, you have to sort that out. I don't know how to do it. Uh, no problem. Uh, you go on okay. because I think you have already done with it. So that's absolutely okay. Just go on with the presentation. Ma'am, just a second. Uh, I'm sharing the PPT. Ma'am, you have to close this one. Then you have to share it, ma'am. Actually. Uh, so just a second. Please give me two minutes. I'm opening the PPT. Is it visible now? I have shared yes. the PPT. Yes, yes. 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 Now. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please continue I'm from the slide where you were. Yeah. So we yeah. will continue yeah. uh, where yeah. you were with your presentation. Sure, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Uh, so uh, the Dalit women started writing. So some of the Dalit women like Australia Basanti and Masi Matri started writing about their plight. Basanti uh, Basanti says that uh, Basanti says the psychological, mental, physical, and emotional trauma caused by men of their own family. That how the family members is uh, how they were uh, they were molested by the by their own family members. Means they are molested, they are annoyed by their own family members and banned by the upper caste men as well. And Melsi remarks, I quote, family, society, community, religion, and constitution, all these five institutions, institutions worthy oppress the existence of women. It is only the most backward and marginalized women who bear the brunt of the Hindu culture. The writing of these women writers are genuine representations of a Dalit woman and their life. I quote, which also gives testimony to the fact that Dalit feminism has emerged as a distinction voice that is antagonistic to both mainstream feminism and to Dalit patriarchy. I unquote. Oppression please, of uh, please also note that there is uh, one minute more. We have to be a bit more careful with timing. Sure, ma'am. Oppression of Dalit women in Bama Sangeti. Uh, so in Sangeti, the ba uh, Sangeti Bama has presented, uh, Sangeti means unheard annals of Dalit women, wherein she has showcased the typhoid, typhoid oppression of a Dalit woman and simultaneously, simultaneously also portrays the power and capacity to resist and endeavors to recuperate from their subservient status. So the, in Sangeti, the Dalit women suffers penury, caste, dis caste discrimination, gender discrimination, discrimination at wages, patriarchy, and molested by the upper caste and as well as uh, by their own community. They have no identity as well. But still, they are resisting. They have start, they are oppressed. The characters like Mariama and Thai uh, are the representatives who are the, mostly, who are the most oppressed women in Sangeti. Like Mariama also faced... Uh, Marima also faced uh, sexual sexual abuse abuse by her own father and brother by her landlord and uh, she was not able to open her open her open up her mouth and uh, she was uh, um, she was uh, subjugated her voice was subjugated the dalit man did not support her and she and dalit man also stopped her to speak up 
So Bama realizes that the Dalit women are neither safe at home nor at agricultural lands and public spaces too. Marima and even in the offenses too, there was discrimination. Marima pays two hundred rupees, whereas Manikram, the another another character of Sangeeti, uh, who is a Dalit man, pays only hundred rupees for the equal offense. So Dalit women are uh, definitely oppressed, but they have the power of resistance. Bama appreciates the very spirit of Dalit women who, despite being quenched and sickened by the situation and people, they work hard at their places. They protest. Their culture does not welcome any dowry system, and they they uh, they have rich cultural heritage as well. They we you we'll, have to come to the to the ending of the presentation, please, because it's nine minutes by now. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, so the Dalit women is resisting. Uh, they are uh, they are oppressed and they are oppressed and subjugated by their circumstances definitely. But they are resisting by uh, by by uh, by having their solidarity. They are recuperating by having solidarity and empathy and understanding of each other, each other that uplifts their spirit to recuperate. As Bama says at last in the novel. I quote: "It is we who uphold our rights. We must stand up for ourselves and declare that we too are human beings, like everyone else. If we believe that someone else is going to come and uplift us, then we are doomed to remain wherever we are forever." I unquote. So the Dalit women have been oppressed, quenched, and seconded by Dalit men, upper class community, and their adverse circumstances. Yet, yet they possess an insurmountable will. And a spirit to resist and recuperate from their obnoxious condition. So there is an urgent need to realize the fact that now is the time to aid Dalit women with the weapon of education and skill generation to revive and resuscitate. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your attention. Uh, thank you for your present.